Yes. The view is on. Used to be considered an insult to Patrick, but a new generation of men are embracing the term, claiming they're proud to celebrate a mother's love. And that is a rejection of, of toxic masculinity. But a lot of people, do you think they still think of a mama's boy as an overgrown kid or as a son with an overbearing mom? I mean, I just think if you're a mama's boy, you love your mama. Well, it's not, I think they mean more than that, don't they, Sonny? Tell them what they mean. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know you got the facts. Yeah. You got yeah. it. It's, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know, Gabe said he should have the love. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Yes. During our Mother's Day segment, my son did say on video that I was the love of his life. <laughs> <laughs> and can I follow him? Yes. He also said it on Instagram. Did he? Yes. yes. Well, well, if that's all we're going with, my kid said the same. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm the same. But, but she's not no. born. But go ahead. Look, I think, I think that for a long time, even as a mom, I received the message that, you know, um, if you're too close to your son and you fail to, to separate, you're doing a disservice to him. And I don't see it that way. I think that I'm teaching my son what um, a mother's love looks like, what unconditional love's, love looks like, and how he should reciprocate that love, yeah. how he should treat a woman, how he should treat any woman mm -hmm. in his life, how he should elevate the queens in his life. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I, I love what I can teach him that. Well, like I think that. I love what Sonny's saying because I think that type of mama's boy is a beautiful thing. And I like when you hear that term now, my heart right away goes to, oh, like, you know, I want to I want to hear more. But there's also the toxic mama's boy. And that's when the mama needs you to be a mama's boy. When they don't want to let go, when they will always be your number one, one, not because you chose them, but because that's the only option you have, that becomes toxic to the person you choose to be with. And so that's where I think you have to kind of hone in early on, like, there is a really important distinction here. Which one is it? So I had an ex who was the toxic mom. Yeah.